Voyage 1 embarked on a journey to explore the vastness of our solar system and beyond. Launched with the intent to gather and send back information from the far reaches of space, it ventured farther than any other human-made object. As part of a broader initiative to understand our cosmic neighborhood, this mission followed in the footsteps of earlier explorers like Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11, which had set the stage by visiting Jupiter and Saturn. However, the high costs associated with such ambitious missions led to a more focused approach, leading to the launch of Voyage 1. As it travels through the void, constantly seeking and studying, an unexpected event occurs. An alarming signal is received from a nearby star. This unexpected communication raises numerous questions and possibilities. What could this signal mean? Who or what sent it? What kind of signal was received? Let's find out! Message from Extraterrestrial? Lately, Voyager 1 has been acting a bit weird. So, what's going on with Voyager 1? It has a part called the Flight Data System, which is like its brain, made up of three computers. This brain is supposed to send back messages to Earth in a code. But the messages have gotten all mixed up. They're repeating in a way that doesn't make sense. NASA has been trying to figure this out. They even tried turning the Flight Data System off and on again, but it didn't fix the problem. A person named Andrew Good, who helps tell people about what's happening at NASA, shared an update. He said that the team in charge of Voyager 1 is working hard to solve this mystery. The team is digging through old papers and being super careful not to mess up the probe's important instructions while they try to find a fix. But talking to Voyager 1 takes a long time. Because it's so far into space, a message takes 22 and a half hours to get there and it takes the same time to hear back. That's almost a whole day just to say hello and hear hello back. As they puzzle over Voyager 1, there's some speculation that these communication inconsistencies could be messages from extraterrestrial life that we have yet to decipher. The Twin Voyage Voyager 2 set off on an incredible journey into space before its twin, Voyager 1, did. It launched on August 20, 1977, a couple of weeks before Voyager 1's own departure on September 5th. This timing was crucial because Voyager 2 had a special path to follow. It needed to launch first to line up perfectly with the planets it was set to explore. Although Uranus and Neptune weren't initially on the agenda, the path Voyager 2 took didn't rule them out for future visits. Both Voyager missions had the primary goal of exploring Jupiter and Saturn. The people who built the Voyager spacecraft, like William Kurth, made sure they could potentially travel further, to Uranus and Neptune. Carl Sagan, a famous scientist, played a big part in planning these missions. He suggested a close look at Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, which was known for its thick atmosphere filled with nitrogen and higher atmospheric pressure than Earth's. Kurth shared that the route needed to closely observe Titan meant Voyager 1 couldn't continue toward Uranus. So it was decided. Voyager 1 would visit Jupiter, Saturn, and Titan, and then its journey through the planets would end. If Voyager 1 succeeded at Titan, Voyager 2 would bypass Titan and head towards Uranus and later Neptune. Following Voyager 2's successful flyby of Neptune, the mission was rebranded as the Voyager Interstellar Mission. The focus shifted to seeing how far these spacecraft could travel and what information they could gather from beyond our solar system. Voyage 1 at Jupiter Voyager 1's journey to Jupiter began in April 1978 when it started taking pictures of the giant planet from 165 million miles away. By January of the next year, the images revealed a much more chaotic atmosphere than what the earlier Pioneer missions had seen in the early 70s. An interesting set of images called the Blue Movie showed Jupiter getting closer over time. These pictures, taken with a blue filter, captured the planet's atmosphere in motion, showing the different speeds and directions of Jupiter's cloud bands. Voyager 1 took these images every 10 hours, which is one full spin of Jupiter. This created a time-lapse video that lets us see how Jupiter's clouds and storms change. The spacecraft took these 66 pictures from January 6th to February 3rd, 1979, moving from 58 million kilometers to 31 million kilometers away from Jupiter. 
Starting January 30th, Voyager 1 snapped a photo every 96 seconds for over 100 hours. This effort produced a color time-lapse movie showing 10 full rotations of Jupiter. Then, on February 10th, Voyager 1 entered the realm of Jupiter's moons, and by March, it had found a thin ring around Jupiter, less than 30 kilometers thick. Voyager 1's closest brush with Jupiter happened on March 5, 1979, when it was about 174,000 miles from the planet. It flew by several of Jupiter's moons, such as Amalthea, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The spacecraft sent back amazing pictures of these moons, revealing details of their surfaces for the first time. The most striking discovery was on Io, a moon that looked completely different from anything we'd seen before. Its surface was covered in yellow, orange, and brown colors, and it had at least eight active volcanoes throwing material into space. This made Io one of the most active places in the solar system. The active volcanoes showed that the sulfur and oxygen found in space around Jupiter might come from Io's volcanoes, which spew out a lot of sulfur dioxide. Voyager 1 also found two new moons, Thebe and Metis. Voyage 1 at Saturn After its journey past Jupiter, Voyager 1 made a significant turn towards Saturn, with a course correction on April 9, 1979. This adjustment was crucial for the spacecraft's upcoming close encounter with Saturn. A second correction on October 10, 1979, was made to ensure Voyager 1 would safely pass by Titan, one of Saturn's moons, without any risk of collision. Voyager 1's visit to the Saturn system in November 1979 was filled with discoveries and views. The spacecraft revealed five previously unknown moons orbiting Saturn. It also uncovered a complex ring system made up of thousands of individual bands. Among these discoveries were the spokes, transient clouds of tiny particles found in the B ring, and a previously unseen ring dubbed the G ring. Voyager 1 also observed shepherding satellites, which are moons that help keep the rings of Saturn well-defined and in their respective paths. During its flyby, Voyager 1 captured detailed images of several of Saturn's moons, including Titan, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. The data suggested that these moons were primarily composed of water ice, a common component in the outer parts of our solar system. Titan, in particular, captured the interest of scientists due to its thick atmosphere that obscured its surface from view. When Voyager 1 made its closest approach to Titan on November 12th at a distance of just 2,500 miles, 4,000 kilometers, it found that the moon's atmosphere was thick with nitrogen, making up 90% of its composition. The Solar System Imagery After passing Saturn, Voyager 1 continued its journey out of the solar system. It moved at a speed of about 3.5 astronomical units every year, heading away from the planets and out into space. In February 1990, when it was far from home, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards the solar system for one last look. This special moment led to a series of 64 pictures that created a family portrait of the planets as seen from Voyager 1's distant viewpoint, about 40 AU from the Sun. In this unique collection of images, two planets, Mercury and Mars, were missing. Mercury was too close to the Sun's bright light to be seen, and Mars was hidden in the sun's shadow from Voyager 1's perspective, showing only its dark side to the camera. Despite these missing pieces, the images captured were historic. Among these pictures was the famous pale blue dot image. This photo showed Earth as a tiny, almost invisible speck surrounded by the vastness of space. The picture and the thoughts it inspired were made famous by Carl Sagan, a well-known scientist and a member of the Voyager team. He pointed out how small and fragile our planet looks from far away, reminding us of the importance of taking care of our only home. These images from Voyager 1 were part of the last set of photos it sent back, adding to a total of 67,000 images taken by both Voyager spacecraft during their journeys through the solar system. The Interstellar Journey After the last planet visit in 1989, Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, started a new chapter called the Voyager Interstellar Mission, VM, on January 1, 1990. 
In 1998, Voyager 1 made history by becoming the farthest thing ever made by humans from Earth. It passed another spacecraft called Pioneer 10 when it was 69.4 AU from the Sun. The most exciting moment came in 2012 when Voyager 1 left the Sun's sphere of influence, called the Heliosphere, and stepped into interstellar space. It was the first time a human-made object had ever done this. Even after so many years, Voyager 1 is still talking to NASA through the Deep Space Network and sending back information. It has four instruments that still work. A cosmic ray telescope, a low-energy charged particle device, a magnetometer, and a plasma wave experiment. Voyager 1 also carries a special message for any intelligent life that might find it. This message is a gold-plated record with sounds and images from Earth, including music from different cultures, natural sounds like whales and the wind, and greetings in 55 languages. It even has a message from the President of the United States at the time, Jimmy Carter, and the UN Secretary General, Kurt Waldheim. And that's the incredible journey of Voyager 1, a small spacecraft on a grand adventure into the unknown. If you're amazed by its journey, give us a like, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars.